what is going on everybody, Gaming Magic 13 here, and welcome back to some more new Super Mario Brothers. You were in the last episode, we tackled the first five levels of Rock Candy Mines, because this world's crazy, and has two towers, and then so we're going to be tackling the final five levels of Rock Candy Mines. So let, before we get into our first level, which is walking around plants, let's go grab Bubble Baby Yoshi. And have him by our side as we go into level 5 walking piranha plants, exclamation point. Alright, so, oh uh, wait, this is the chain based level, why did I bring you along? We're gonna use one of our waddling suits here. Sans Baby Yoshi, you would swing across the gap, I don't know why I brought him along. And there's a waddling suit right here if you don't already have one. We're gonna keep this Koopa shell. As long as we can to get rid of you. Oh, and then shake our way up here, and then we're gonna glide over most of you. Okay, with here, we're gonna throw the shell at the Koopa, and it's gonna bounce back and forth until it breaks open these blocks, just like that. Slide underneath, jump up, and grab the first star coin, just like that. And then, or I think we have to shake up here for the second star coin. No, nope. no, that's not what you have to do. Oh, wait, it's. Is there an ice flower? Here? Yes, okay, so it's it's here. Alright. So if you don't have a waddling suit, which you should, because the third star the third star coin can only be collected with platforms or a waddling suit, and use the chain, although you can't even get up there with the chain. Oh nope, nope, nope. So we're gonna get a, a, a good start with the waddling suit and then swing our way up here, and that's gonna launch us into this area right here. There's our second star coin. We're gonna hit this P-switch, get a running jump off of this this bra the, these bricks right here. And then collect as many coins as you can, just for fun, that was worthless. And you can get up here in any number of different ways, but if you fall down, you go back to the normal level. Um, but that's how you get the second star coin, and then the third star coin can only be collected by a waddling Mario! Okay, that was really, really close. Don't? Okay, there we go, that's ideal. I thought it was gonna fall to my death there. Oh, poopy. Okay, um, I don't know if we get another waddling, we do not, okay. Well, now I'm going to show you how you get this if you don't have a waddling suit, Mario, because... Oh, wait, 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 wait. One last chance. One last chance. Ah, worthless. All right. We're going to have to... Oh, of course. It's time for us to use one of our Aladdin suits, ladies and gentlemen. I figured we'd have to use... If I was to guess which world we'd have to start using it in, it would, it would have been Rock Candy Mine just because of how insane it is. So that's how you grab the third star coin. If you don't have small plat- Oh, of course! Just to add insult to injury, it gives me big platforms now that I have the waddling suit. Thanks, game. You're wonderful. If you have the big platforms and not the small platforms like I had, you can easily get over there. But if you only have the small platforms because the game isn't very, very nice to you, like it wasn't to me a minute ago, then you're going to- Oh, wait. Okay, so this is going to be easy with the Aladdin power-up. Or maybe it's not, and I'm about to eat my words. Six, seven. Oh, nope, I'm about to eat my words. Huh? Yep, okay. I just ate my words because I missed the red ring riches. Great, let's go. Come on. Yeah. One up. There is, however, also a secret exit that is absolutely necessary to getting the third and final star coin in the castle. Yes, the castle of this world. Why? Because we're going to unlock a hidden, a secret, a secret, a secret hidden exit in Screw Top Tower, which is going to lead over to those red blocks over there. But in order to activate those red blocks, we need to activate a red switch. And in order to activate that red switch, we need to activate what? And the red switch you need to activate is over there on that rock. In order to get to that rock, we need to find a hidden. We need to find the secret exit in this level. Huh. <sighs> rock, rock candy mines give me a headache. Let's just do it. I'll show you where the hidden exit is. It's right at the end of the level, right here. Instead of going for the goalpost, we're gonna fall back, get into this hidden area right here, and go down this pipe. This leads to the secret exit, which will be critical for getting the third star coin in the final level of Rock Candy Mines. I know it's a confusing mess right now, but I promise it gets, it makes more sense a bit further down the line. Huh. 
All right. So before we go and tackle the screw top tower, we are going to go back over here and complete Thrilling Spine Coaster because it's Rock Handy Mines Dash Six. So it comes, you know, six comes after five and all that. And yes, this is very similar, and I mean very similar to the the coaster level from World Eight. So. The first star point is rather simple, it's going to be right up here, just got to jump into it, it'll be illuminated by the headlight right here. Just keep keep on going with the rest of it. And Reverend Rich is right here. Not easy to see them, but if you can see them, jump right here. Then it would be nice if you don't already have 99 lives or you don't already have a level 3 Mario power up. But I have both, so this is worthless to me. I need to explain a lot of things right here, so I'm going to... I'm gonna Kind of, maybe, pause, I don't know. Eh. Alright. So some extra coins right here if you want them, and then float your way back up here. So basically, um, the second star coin will be, we're gonna go down a hill right here, and then we're gonna encounter some spiky bits down there. There's gonna be three patches of coins. Count one, two, three, and then after the third patch of coins, you're gonna jump up, and there is the second star coin. For the third star coin, we're gonna get a super, we're gonna get an invincibility star from this, uh, question block right here. You need to hold on to this until we get the second star coin, then there's going to be another block we have to hit to replenish the invincibility star. You move fast enough, but we I'm going to wait to grab this until the absolute last possible second. I wasted it. Okay. Okay, that's one, two, three, and then there it is. One, two, three sets of normal coins, and there's the second star coin, just like I said. Okay, there's the invincibility, this is the invincibility star, oh wait, oh, never mind, okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it if you do have the invincibility star, I thought you had to keep it going, never mind, I was incorrect in that statement, quickly now, let's go, faster, 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 jump, oh, uh, oh okay, the irony is that I, I did this one first try in the walkthrough, and I, I couldn't do it first try this time, which irks me, alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, there we go, there we go, now we're good, alright. Wait for it to hit the pipe and then grab it and go. Alright, now we got this. Now we got this. Now we got this in the bag. Hit it, grab the star, go, go, drop down, run, grab the third star coin, slide back, run, jump, jump out here, there we go, that's how we do it. Okay, so I didn't do it first try, but I did do it second try, so I still feel bad I didn't do it first try, but okay, I've done this. And of course you can make small platforms. But hey, what you gonna do, I suppose? Come on, Navid, you don't stand a chance against me. Oh no! Nope, nope. Okay, my cockiness may do me in. Or it's gonna have me catch it catch you just like that. Alright, what are you gonna get me? Yep, another Aladdin suit. Perfect. Screw top tower, where the enemy this time is surprisingly not boom boom. Okay, so the gimmick behind this level is you stand on top of here and you spin, and it's gonna spin you over, hence the term screw top, to the end of the path movement. And this can be used, and also these are the platforms you can't actually jump on from beneath, but they are pretty bouncy for some reason. But not on top, oddly enough. So, they give you time to get used to it, and but then they quickly dive you straight into the action with the fire. So here is, oh dear god, here is our first star coin contained within this pipe right here. There we go. That took way too long. I think you could actually hit some secret blocks from beneath to, to get in here, but eh, using platforms is more fun. Alright, use the power block to destroy everything in here as well as grab that first star coin. Let's bounce back. The second and third star coins are both right on the open exit. Let's test this. See it. Oh, dear God. Come on. Actually, wait, can we get a power up? Okay. Power up from this block right here, maybe? You can. An ice flower. Pounce on you so that you're down and out. I'm down, but you know I'm not out. I got another round. 
Alright, Jake over here, let's see if we can hit some secret blocks. Okay, so we can. So you don't have to do the chaos that I went through to get get up into that pipe. Uh, but hey, still fun. Okay. Second star coin, like I said, right on the open. Not e not necessarily easy to get, I didn't say that. But it is right out in the open. Some secret coins over here. I guess not so secret, but see. You can get some coins over there. And you're, what this level does a good job of is introducing you to the boss right away. See these guys right here? They're sumo bros. I think is what they're called anyway. And basically their move is that they jump up, they ground pound, and then they send shock waves in either direction. Or in, in opposite directions. And that's dangerous because then it stuns you. And I think it may even knock off one of your power up levels. I don't really want to test that. But my recommendation is to freeze them with the ice flow. This is an instance in which the ice flow is actually useful against the boss. So now we're going to shake around with this to grab the second star point and then let it take us back. Avoid the flame. Jump on top of... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I That wasn't how that was supposed to go. You were supposed to jump on top. I, I hate that it's so slow coming back. It's the one thing I don't like about these screw tops. Keep moving. Jump. Nope, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. That's also not what I wanted. Nope, okay, we're gonna move. Jump on top of here, jump on top of here. We're gonna jump on top of... Okay, let's try platforms this time, since this time they give me the big platforms. Oh, I forgot, we can't jump through that. But we can jump around it. We can do that, that is a thing we can do. Okay. Go over here, and then bounce our way up through the music blocks. Run on riches, that's nice, but I don't... Really want to risk that right now. And then the end of the level's right here. But. We. Oh, wait, is it? No, it's not right here. Uh hmm. I don't want to get that moon. So let's do that and then grab the moon. Like that. So it doesn't help us with our level 1 Mario status, but. Alright, let's wait for them to swing. Let's wait for the fire to swing. Like that and catch us in between. And then shake again, keep going. Alright, here's the end of the level. Uh, don't get hit by the shockwave. Tap him once, then he's down and out, then tap, jump on him again. We're going to jump around- Oh, uh, what? I, you had big- I had big platforms, not ten- not- not sixty seconds ago, and now I have small platforms again? Okay. So jump around, hit the blocks. Basically, we're creating- we're creating blocks to jump on top of to get that second star coin. Or the third star coin, not second. Now, I wouldn't- I, ideally, I- I, I don't really want to go into this boss fight with level 1 Mario status. Is there a fire flower that I can... Or not a fire flower, but just, just a mushroom that I can get, maybe? Okay, yes, a mushroom that I can get, thank you. Still not ideal to go be, to go be facing boss Sumo Bro with a mushroom, but... Or as, just as a level 2 Mario, but... Still, better than level 1. Okay, so the goal here is to step to be on the platform. He's oh great. What 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 what, what was that? So this is what I wanted. I had to lose a life to get here, but we're here. Three star coins, fire flower. Now I can finally show you how to beat this boss. Good lord. Okay, so basically, you have to pounce on him from beneath. And then had him, and then you have to jump on top of him. So I like to keep hitting him until I can get on top of him. So pass him from beneath, then jump on top of him. You can't jump on top of him when he's um, standing up, but you can jump on top of him when he's lying down. Oh, th okay, I got struck once. That's fine. That's fine. Hit him again, and then uh, jump on top of him. Yep. If you don't like where he is, you can jump on him from beneath as many times as you want, and he'll keep falling da further down, and then you jump on top. Of him. Yes, save. Alright, so let's hit this blue switch first. And then come over here to hit the red switch. And then come down here to hit Sifting Floor Cavern. Okay, this is this is another one that utilizes the bounce from below doesn't bounce from above platforms. Yeah. 
And it's a cave. Oh, mistake. Okay, nailed that almost perfectly. The gimmick this level is that the, the entire level moves. Um, sometimes not always for the better. Did it? Did it? Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, getting into the groove. Destroyed you, but also destroyed my level three power up in the process. Oh, I shook. I shook. Not fair. Okay, so we're gonna stand here, and then we're gonna get dropped off into the first star coin. That's that, and then we're gonna keep going. Nope. Nope. These bats are not going to be the end of me. I'm gonna destroy you with your own, with your friend's shell. Give me the power up. Oh, thank you. For the power up. So the second star coin isn't until we make it past the midway point, so we don't, have, we don't have much to worry about. Let me get you off the wall now, so I don't have to worry about you sneak attacking me. And actually, if I can hit you, thank you, for the extra one up, back to 99 lives. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Ugh. Okay, that didn't work as, as planned, but I still got rid of some of them. Okay. So the hidden point in the ceiling that we have to jump through is not here. It's just past here, I think. It's gonna be a big wall up ahead. Yep, as expected. Jump over it. Fire flower in this block right here. And then we have to jump through this point right here in the ceiling. Nope, these bats are not going to be the end of me. Wall jump- oh, what was that? I broke- okay. Get out of here, thank you. And I have many platforms, great. And now that we're up here, we can slide our way into the second star coin, just like that. And then fall back. I wasn't prepared for that. So we're going to take this with us. We're going to take this Koopa Show with us. Pounce on top of the bats. We have to hurry. Oh, shoot. Okay. We have to be extremely quick with this. And the platforms need to... This is not being in our favor. Throw you and stomp on top of you to pick you up again. And down you fall, and then keep her- Oh, come on. And I miss! So I threw the Koopa Shell, as you saw, and then I missed with the Koopa Shell. And as you can see by my life counter, this took four attempts. Very sick of this level. Oh yeah, Mario time. Yeah. So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to the Toad House first, and to do that, we're gonna come down here and hit the blue switch. It's gonna that's gonna extend the bridge to the Toad House, and we're gonna come up here. Go to the Toad House, we're gonna get some power-ups, and then we're gonna go face Roy. Again, keep your eye on the two good ones, because the two good ones are easier to track than the three bad ones. I think they're in the same position they were when they started. Oh, I missed. Yeah, they are. Like I said, easier to track the two good ones and the three bad ones. Okay, let's activate- no! There goes one of our Nabbit devices. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to use Invincibility Star for this level. It's not the best, but I guess it can't hurt. Okay, so to get started, wait for this guy to drop down, keep going, Ice Flower, mine, wait for this to drop down, and then quickly dart across to grab the first star coin before the other one comes along to block off the path. This is actually a kind of creative level, Ugh. with the platforms dropping down. I don't really have any gripes with this one. And the second star coin should be in this gap, or the third gap. Whoa! Oh, whoa! 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 No! 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 Duck! Ah. <sighs> okay. Should be in this gap right here, I think. Yeah. There we go. And then we can't actually get the third star coin, as I mentioned earlier. 
um, without going in the back entrance, and we're gonna do that after we beat Roy the first time. And yes, we have to beat him twice. And it's actually kind of insane how this level operates. Um, just because the, the third star point isn't even accessible from the main level, you have to... Oh, no. Nope. You have to access a secret part of the level by going in the back entrance of all things to get it, which is kind of similar to what they did in the first game with the World 7 castle, where um, you went in the back entrance to get some hidden power-ups. But this is... You need, you, this, you need to do this to 100% the game, so... It's a whole other thing entirely. And, yep, it it's absolute chaos. That resolved ver itself very quickly. But, actually, you can kind of see it, so it's not entirely hidden, because if you look past here, you see... Huh. Something cool over there. I wonder what it is. Because there's coins over there, so you think maybe I should probably be able to get those coins. And, trust me, I tried to jump over that wall for so long when I first played through it, but... Sadly, I was wrong. So this guy fires bullet bills at you, but you can still hop on top of him insanely easily. Just like all the other Koopalings, they appear tough, and then once you hit them once, you'll learn they're not so tough. Come on, pop up, there we go. Pounce on top of you. The Koopalings appear tough with their menacing contraptions, and their their their, their wands, and their magic Koopa stuff, and their, their cannons, and their rings of doom, but once the once you hit them once they they're not dangerous at all now a strategy that you could employ would be um would be standing on the upper platforms and then letting Roy jump into you so that you stomp on him as he jumps but I've never I've never done that just cuz I I it's so it's it's so insanely easy to just jump on top of him and then keep pouncing on him Unfortunately, before we go to Marine Clouds, which is actually a pretty cool world with some pretty cool levels, and it's actually normal in that it's it flows like a regular world rather than this insane mess known as Rock Candy Mines. But sadly, before we can do that, we must do two things. One, we must access Roy's back entrance. Two, we must go to the one-up house. We're going to do those in the order that I said so that we can get the one-ups at the last possible second. Because I need to make up, back up some one-ups following the disastrous events of this episode. Alright, let's go get that third star coin. Alright, so to get the third star coin, you have to hit this question block right here. And then let all the blocks fall and then quickly dart across them so that you can get here before your entrance is blocked off. And then we have to jump across these blocks from before. No, don't crush my platform. Oh dear, I'm gonna fall into you. Thank you. Well, that's one life I got back. I only need to get two from the one-up house now. Alright, let's grab that fire flower. Like so. And go face Roy one more time. You got all the star coins in Rock Candy Mines. That's gotta mean something good, right? Yes, it means we don't have to touch Rock Candy Mines again, ever! We can go to Marine Clouds! So next time we're gonna be tackling the first half, and I can actually say that because it's, you know, actually a sensible half this time around. We got, I think, four levels? Yeah, four levels. And then for the second half, we've got five or six, I think. Yeah, I think I think five. Well, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's count really quickly. One, two, three, four, five, and then a sixth one. Alright, or a sixth bonus one. Okay. So that's gonna do this episode, so thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you for the next episode, and until then, this has been the Game of 13. Signing off, saying I hope you have a nice and day, and I will catch you next time for some more New Super Mario Brothers. You... Keep wanting to say we. Goodbye! <laughs>